It's amazing. You're a freaking lower mainland Vancouverite, buddy. <laughs> Isn't this crazy, man? Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Fucking crazy, man. What was it, like five years ago, six years ago, you walked in the gym not even knowing how to throw a jab? Oh, fuck, man. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, crazy, man. And watching you fight, like the feints you gave that guy and the distance you used, it's Mayweather all over again. Like, you know yeah. how you're pulling all the time? Like, he couldn't reach you, and you're yeah. the shorter man. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that really shut him down. They were saying he's yeah. not moving his feet, he's not mobile. Yeah. And they asked him in his interview after, he's like, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I yeah. feel that's what it was, and you you yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. Even when he switched southpaw to get the, the open angle, we had a plan. You switch that. with him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is, it's all distance. Remember we talked about it? boxing is all distance, and you had that distance impeccably perfect because those punches were just coming right to your nose you know like when you were pulling it was that beautiful and you caught him with that overhand right that one time and it hurt him ah, bad yeah. you really put your body behind your punches man i mean nicely and you were fighting from a fighting stance he was fighting from a back stance yeah big yeah. difference, big difference. Yeah. He, his style, his style, what he was good at and what he is good at and how – so he's been champ for six years and he's knocked out every uh, heavyweight that he's fought. And how he's done it um, was on his back foot countering, always. And he keep you in distance with his kicks, and as you try to close the distance, he'd, he'd pop you. Um, so we knew that, and, and that's what it was. We tried to either draw the kicks out and then, and then come in as he, as he recoils or get in before he, before he kicks, and then – I felt my boxing and my head movement yeah. was going to be sharper than him in the pocket. It was and the longer we keep him there, the more he has to work. He's not used to being uh, in danger all the time. In, in danger all the time. Yeah. yeah. He's used to being at range and picking his spots and being a sniper. But you got the range. Yeah. You got the range. And yeah. the reason you got the range was the, the feints. He didn't know what was coming, when it was coming. And that's how you beat a counterpuncher. If you'd make him feel... Hey, I don't know when he's coming, man. That fainting jab and that front foot when you stepped and stuff it was friggin' – it was, yeah. like I said, man, it was all Mayweather. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, man. Mm. It went it went, it went, went great. I mean – and then, you know, one of the things I'm actually proud of, um, we, we thought we are going to hurt him, absolutely, was to be patient once we hurt him. Yeah. Uh, because my first UFC fight, I dropped that guy – and then I tried to pounce on him, and I threw everything at him, and he was still there. And that's yeah. the first time I had, like, an adrenaline dump, and I was going between rounds. I was like, holy fuck, am I gonna, how am I going to finish this fight? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, we, and we got it out, no problem. But I, I didn't want to do that again, and I wanted to be precise. And I thought I did that when we hurt him with the overhand at first. And, and, and he buckled a little bit. I, yeah. I was still patient. I didn't, I didn't go crazy, you know? Yeah. And when you had him on the ground, it seemed like you're so relaxed. Like, I mean, yeah. that's your game is wrestling, but you were so relaxed. You're letting him work, make do all the work, right? Yeah. And, and to be honest, he was, he was slippery. He had something going yeah. on there. Uh, I've never, I've never felt someone so slippery in the first round. <laughs> never, oh, yeah. ever. Head to toe. Not even like to the head to toe like an oil slick. Yeah, so yeah, I had yeah. to, even when <laughs> even when he had that a submission on me, that's why I didn't move. I'm like, I don't want something fucking going south here because this guy's slippery as hell. I'm just gonna hold my position, be tight. And even when I was on top, that's why I was very methodical. He, I, I, he was he was it was unbelievable. And 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 I've and I've grappled with some dirty guys in the past. That something was wrong there. Absolutely. <laughs> In a minute and a half, you threw, and I, I've watched it probably five or six times, you threw six, when you, when you hit him with that right cross to the body, and then you took him down, in a minute and a half, you threw 68 shots on him. You hit him with about 60 of them. The referee said four times, Vera, protect yourself. Vera, protect yourself. In a minute and a half, 60, 68 times, you probably landed about maybe 59, 60 shots. You think they should have called it earlier? I don't know. You should, I think I would, they should have. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I thought he would. And then when he wasn't is when I really started being, okay, I better pace myself. I don't know what this ref's on about. Yeah. And, um, weird. you know, yeah, it was very, very weird. But I will say one thing, too. Every time I hit him, whether it's standing or even on the ground, he was making noises. I could hear him. <laughs> I was hurting him every time. I could feel him grunting when I got my hands on him, like, he did not like any part of that fight. You're, you're a big boy, man. Exactly. And, and, and the stadium was dead quiet. So I, I could hear, literally, we could talk like this, and I could hear the coaches. 
And um, so that there, and then you know what? The fight was crazy. I got to tell you guys how that went down. But um, it was funny, even after the uh, after the fight, they're, they're saying the coaches were in a chess match. His coach would say something. John C. over here eh, would counter, and then John C. would say something, and he would counter, and because he could hear each other clearly as a dead quiet mm-hmm. stadium, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was it was unique and, and fun to be around, though. Uh, one of the things too, I think that really played off in every one of his uh, interviews. He he said he was faster than every heavyweight that he's fought, and, and he was relying on that. But I I I I felt we were faster for days, and my eyes were sharper for days, and, and I think that really made a difference too. He definitely underestimated you. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. And what makes you makes a guy fast too is like a Roy Jones or any of those guys is the feints they do, Arjun. I mean, yeah. even Tyson Fury, like he makes those weird type of moves. But he's catching guys all the time because guys can't get away from a punch they don't know is coming. And you're, you're right. so beautiful at that, man. Don't know what's coming because it's it could be any time. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And he went from no mo- – Vera went from no motion to a motion of the shot, which is easier to see coming. But in yeah. your hands, dude, your hands were constantly moving. It was so – because when we're working with the boys and teaching yeah. them, moving, keep the hands moving, keep the hands moving, because when they're moving, you don't know what when a shot's going to mm. go in. But when it yeah. goes from there to there, you can see it coming in easier. Much easier. It was you're beautiful. Right. beautiful. What they say, right, constant motion, when you have constant motion, it's easier, more fluid, right? That's what they generally say. And that's what you're doing with your waist, too. Like, you're always moving, you know, like you weren't in one spot. So he couldn't really, he couldn't, like he was guessing where to go, right? Couldn't detect it. Couldn't detect yeah. anything you were throwing. It's doom. Boom. It's like a freaking Mack truck every time. Hitting him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about that right hand that finished the fight. That was the beginning of the end. I was texting yeah. back and forth with Manny. He said, you guys, tell us, Manny, you guys worked on that? I don't know. We worked on that, oh, you know, the pull right hand, like follow the, follow the jab. Like I threw the jab out and you, you pulled and then you just yeah. came right over the top with that right hand. I mean, you know, we worked that, we worked on that for years. I'm sure you worked with that with uh, John C. as well, right? Yeah, yeah. It, well, it started there, absolutely. And and one of the things that we, for the distance, is the front foot, right? Yeah. That's, you that's know, you right. got it, buddy, the front foot. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But you remember, you remember we argued about that because you said it's it's difficult to have the front foot out too close because of the kicks. But you yeah. pulled that you pulled that foot back a lot of times to catch the kick with your shin. Remember? Yeah, your exactly. Fight? So, yeah, yeah, that that was the growth, right? Trying to play with that, but yeah, it's the same fundamental, same techniques, and and you know uh, you would know best, both of you guys, right? Uh, I didn't load it up; it just no. it was there. Let it go. It yeah. Because it's the punches it. you don't see that hurt yet. He didn't see that over the top. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we just let it fly. I didn't look. That's that's. I didn't roll it up on anything in the fight, to be honest. I just because I was ready for twenty five minutes, and yeah. I was going to do that for five rounds and keep plugging away. And, and I felt fresh after the fight. And, and, and like you said, he didn't see it, so it hurt him. Jerry Tremble. Yeah, Jerry Tremble is a bad motherfucker. Golden boy. That's what they call Atlanta's Jerry Tremble. Yeah. 